Hello guys, I'm gonna show you how to reflash your Ebo one. This one it, it didn't come already flashed to the car that I was working on. So right here we're gonna select the application. We connect the module and so this is the link that I'm using, the flash link, limited use. So right here this is the wizard mode. And if you if you're using for the first time, this is the what it's gonna give you. So um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna select the vehicle that we're working on, and we're working on an Audi. So and then after you select the vehicle that you're working on, go to the next step. It gives you the automatic and the manual one. That's the OEM alarm. The remote start only or the depending which one you're going to select so on this one uh, um, what what function do you want the remote to do and then right here if you want an external remote on to run your car so if not just select you no know, 15 minutes runtime so right here we're not gonna do anything because we're not using any external remote. So and this one it says that the decryptor it won't be necessary because this module doesn't need it since we're already using a an extra key uh, to do the bypass. So this is the options that we we already select and then we gonna flash it so all the information that we select it's gonna be stored in the module so if the module that you're working on is not going to running mode so you have to select the vehicle and flash it to be able to do it and right here I'm gonna show you the pro mode so the pro mode basically it's the same as the wizard mode but on this one right here you can turn on and off any function in the module and right here you can do the decryptor if you're working on any other car right here is where you have to do that and right here this is the on and off button if you want to change any function in the module this is where you can turn it on and off so and then suggested options too yeah, you can do that as well you can tap on it and confirm so that that's gonna select all the, all of those things right there you know and then if you change something don't forget to save and um, options right here we're gonna check the remote starter if after reconnecting everything and your remote doesn't crank or run the car this is where you can check that we're gonna go to the 38 the second or the last and we're gonna click on it and that, that's this is the options as you're gonna get um, sometimes the remote start it's disabled you have to put it on three times lock button or the lock unlock and lock again to start the car after to do some changes you can check the load select selected options and confirm and don't forget to save options right here I'm gonna show you how I was able to add the starter signal to the white wire if you watch my previous video you, you will know what I what I, I'm talking about and, and right here we're gonna select the 2.3 which um, gives the the white wire to be the starter signal so instead I'm um, taking the starter signal from from the yellow wire like uh, let's see the money really quick right here the installation guide 
so right here the yellow wire is the starter signal and the white wire it's um is not in use you can get the starter signal from the yellow one so you don't have to use the white one and i hope this video gave you some information and like and subscribe for more videos like this thank you for watching take care